to this is drawing at 1313 and today I have another tutorial for you. This tutorial is going to show you how to uh, resolve block ID conflicts without needing any other mods or any other programs such as like the block ID ser uh, solver or you know something like that. This is going to show you how to manually go into your .minecraft folder, find the config files for the uh, mods that are causing you a problem and change them. So let's go ahead and get started. Right here in my Minecraft client, I purposely installed two mods that I know have a problem with each other. So I'm just going to log in and I'm going to show you what a block ID conflict looks like. It's going to try to load up, but it won't be able to because basically it's trying to use two, like, how, how, what's the best way to explain it? Basically, each block in the game of, Mi game of Minecraft has its own ID kind of like a variable when you have your own program. Um, you know, if you, you have a, a variable called x and a variable called y. Well, you can't... actually, yeah, you can. I don't really know how I'm going to explain that. But basically, everything in every block in Minecraft, like I just said, has its own block ID. And uh, you can't have two separate blocks with the same ID or else it just won't work. And that's when you'll get a screen that looks like this. It'll say, you know, uh, Minecraft has stopped running because it encountered a problem. Uh, it'll start the error report, tell you all your uh, system information. And right here, um, this is what a block ID conflict is. Illegal argument exception. And then right here, it says slot 249. This is the ID that is causing you a problem. Alright, so slot 249 is the ID that is the problem. And the two mods that are involved are Thomcraft, you can see them right here. And then the other mod that is involved is uh, Industrial Craft 2. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and look at how to solve this. We're going to go into your .minecraft. If you don't already know this, uh, you just press your start button. You type in percent app data, spelling it right, of course. And this will bring you to your roaming folder, in which you could find your .minecraft folder. Now, um, the main place for config files to be is in this config folder. There are a few mods that will have their own folder uh, that is generated in your .minecraft, and that's where the configs uh, will be for that. For example, um, Buildcraft uh, has its own config folder, and uh, Red Power 2 will have its own folder inside your .minecraft folder. But for now, all we have to do is go into our config folder. And you can see that there are two uh, CFG files, IC2 and Thongcraft2. Those are the two mods that we need to um, edit so that they both work. Alrighty, so I'm going to open up Thongcraft, and I'm also going to open up Industrialcraft2. Okay, so once we have that, I'm just going to make it to where you can see both screens at once. And there we go. Make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, so right here, um, it's pretty easy to find for Thongcraft too. They're all right there. It just says block, and then it'll have the uh, name of the block that is being used, and also the ID. And then uh, Industrial Craft 2, we scroll down, and it's not generated yet. The reason why it's not generated is because it tried to generate all its own IDs, but it wasn't able to. So we need to do something before we go ahead and edit the uh, IDs. In order to kind of force Industrial Craft 2 to generate its own IDs, we're going to take Thongcraft 2, or you know, whatever other mod you're trying to use, we're going to take that out and just load up Minecraft with just Industrial Craft 2 in it. So we're going to log in, and of course it's going to work because there's no other mods for the, um, you know, the problem to arise. So once it loads, we're going to quit the game, and then we can go ahead and uh, drag and drop Thongcraft 2 back in there before we forget. Now we're going to go back into our uh, config folder. We're going to open up IC2, and we're going to open up Thongcraft 2. I'm just going to make those to where you can see them easily. And now when we look over at our IC2 config file, we see that we have all these blocks, okay? And then, you know, they're still there for Thongcraft 2, of course. So now we look through and we notice that in the error report it told us that block 249 is the problem. Well right here we can see 249 and then right here we see 249. So you know we can change these to almost whatever we want. There is a limit um, and I'm not 100% sure of the limit. I'm 
I think it's somewhere around like 260, it may be a little less, it may be a little more, but you know, you can, you'll notice it just won't work if you try to make it too high. It'll say like a array out of bounds exception or something like that. So, um, and then you can make it as low, but don't make it too low because then it'll start interfering with the vanilla blocks in Minecraft. So, let's see, 249, we want to change it, and we can't just change it to anything because, well, Let's say that we want to change it, oh, well, let's just change it to 240, that's not a problem, right? Well, actually it is, because right here, 240, um, well, that's going to interfere with itself, and the mod won't be able to load at all. So we have to choose a block ID that is not any one of these, and also not any one of these. Now, of course, this is pretty simple if you only have two mods, but if you're trying to, you know, install the mods for, I don't know, let's say my Let's Play um, series that I have up right now, well, there's um like 30 different mods or so that I'm using in that series, so it would be a little bit more difficult, and you may have to change an ID, go back into your Minecraft, see if it works. If it doesn't, you go back, change another ID, and just kind of, you know, trial and error type of thing, okay? Um, but for now, let's see, where was it? Okay, so 240 right here. Let's see, it looks like the lowest we have right here, we have a 218. Is there anything lower than 218? Oh, I see a 217. And 216, okay, I think that's the lowest one for here, is 216. So let's just go ahead and change this to 215, okay? So 215 should not interfere with any of these, and it should also not interfere with any of these. Now we can go ahead and you could try and run this, and this, would, this is what you would do if you don't really know what else would be wrong. So you can try to run this, but I happen to know that you would, uh, you would encounter another error. Why would you encounter another error? Well, because there's still some uh, similar ID uh, files that are still being used. For example, we have 241 right here, and we also have 241 right here. Well, that's not going to work out too well, so we want to change this. And since we know that 216 is the lowest ID that is used in this one, we know that if we start at 215 and we just go down, so let's say this would be 214, this would be 213, this would be 212, this would be 211, this would be 210, this would be 209, this would be 208, this would be 207, this would be 206, this would be 20, oh yeah, and I kind of, didn't I have a 215 somewhere? Okay, whatever. Um, so this would be 205, and since we uh, kind of overwrote our 215 ID, we can go ahead and use that again, because it's nowhere else in here anymore. So now, hopefully, whenever, um, of course, after we save this, make sure you save it. If you exit out and don't save your changes, well, nothing's going to be changed, and you're still going to have the same problems that you had. So now that all those block IDs are changed, we go into our Minecraft, we log in, and we wait a little bit and see if it works. Well, that's interesting. Alright, sorry about that guys, um, that actually was not my fault, apparently um, Songcraft 2.1.6c uh, is incompatible with Minecraft Forge uh, 3.2.5 point whatever. Um, so all I had to do is I just uh, went ahead and got a new Minecraft.jar and installed uh, Forge 3.1.3.105. So there's that, um, it was not a problem with the config um, or the uh, item IDs. So. It was just the Minecraft Forge and Domcraft incompatibility. So uh, now when we log in, everything should work, and it does. Uh, go into single player, create a new world, do that. I'm just gonna, you know, show you that everything was resolved. Both of the mods are installed correctly, and you know, just kind of wrap things up. Okay, so I'm back here, and now when we open up our inventory, we'll be able to scroll down and see that everything from Domcraft is there continue scrolling down we see that everything from industrial craft 2 is there so there you go i hope that this tor tutorial has uh helped you um to you know kind of resolve your own id conflicts this is something that's very useful especially if you want to install uh like a whole bunch of different mods and you don't want to use a mod pack uh which you know that's always how i like to do it i don't like mod packs so this will allow you to you know it'll give you the knowledge to install as many mods as you want and then as long as there's no like major issues between the two mods and it's just an ID conflict, you can go ahead and resolve it yourself. So 
Again, I hope this tutorial has helped you. If it has helped you, go ahead and uh, help me out here by leaving a like, uh, leaving a comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. So it's been Dryonkip1313, and I'll see you later.